hello welcome back to our channel and how is everybody doing this is mrs always right i'm back again we're going to talk about what god created and how god created boundaries in the world so thank you god for everything thank you to all my subscribers as well and also any new subscribers anybody's following this channel god bless you and now we're going to talk about God, how God created boundaries because he knows as human beings, we will want everything, but that is not everything that you need. Not everything is good for you. Hence, in Genesis 2 verse 14 to 17, he showed us an example. Then the Lord took the man and put into the garden of Eden to cultivate it and keep it. The Lord commanded the man, saying, From any tree of the garden you may eat freely, but from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat it. In the day that you may eat it, it will you will surely die. So that is how God created us and also created boundaries. But we did not keep to the boundaries. So what but what did we do in that time? We wanted everything mindless of of immediate benefit to us or not even we do not need it so we wanted everything even though there was a boundary god said we shouldn't do this we shouldn't go beyond what we should eat in that garden so and this is and it is from this that greed is born so from that we all fall into sin and greediness and also not con feeling contented with what we have because we have already passed that boundaries which God has given to us so that is how we break the heart of God we commit the worst sin on earth on that day we break the boundaries there was no more boundaries between what God says to us we should do and what we want to do so so and um, from this the grid is born for we do not have a culture of boundary we have not incalculated that into us the principle of not having everything to ourselves and the unlock of being content so we just didn't care about Adam and Eve, didn't care what has, what is going to be, what is going to happen to them. So for that reason, for this reason, we destroyed our lives, chasing what we should not have, what we are not yet allowed to receive. So that is how it is going to affect our life chasing what we did not want or we shouldn't have and also taking things that we shouldn't have so those are the boundaries adam broke there was no more respect again for jesus for the lord because they have they didn't have that boundaries again they broke it and they take advantage of what they were given what was given to them so for this reason we destroy our life and chasing what we should not have like our first parent which was adam and eve and they were in the garden they wanted to take everything when god asked them to take everything else but one thing so they wanted every other things that they 
were not allowed to take. So they touched everything in the tree that was not allowed to be touched. So we don't know the biological reason for that or natural reason for that. But we don't know the meaning of that tree that was in the center of the garden. So we couldn't have any meaning uh, up to today. Nobody has ever told us about the meaning of the tree in the center, in the middle of the garden. So we don't know what was there. But lack of boundary brought upon their ruin. Lack of boundary, the same that is leading to our immediate doom. So that is the same problem. They face that time and we are facing it now because we don't listen to the word of God. We don't respect the boundaries God has given to us. We just take everything. We get involved with everything as long as we were created by God. So who told you you can continue to peacefully use your phone until you can adequately afford phone 12? So nobody can control everybody. So in this world, people just do whatever they want to do. That is how it is. In this world, nobody can control everybody. So, in this world, who said you must be owner of most recent trending gold? So anybody, nobody can tell you whatever you want to do. You can be yourself. No more limit. So, why pressurizing your own life with the guests to own everything such that you give your life to vile and immoral ways to get it so those are the ways people take laws into their hand do things they don't want or to do things they want to do so that they want to be in charge they want to control the world but that is not the reason god has given us this world to live in peace so we have to continue to be the light to everybody so that they can see through us and also why what kind of person are you and what sort of parent will you become if you are the one who embodies an ob the obsession obsessive desires to own everything remember when Eve and Adam were in the garden, there was a lot of rules that God gave them. It was a beautiful garden. God gave it to them for them to enjoy and also have peaceful life. There wouldn't have been any sin in this world or hardship. But due to their stubbornness and also greed, because... Not only that, they did it intentionally. It is the work of Satan, the snake, that went to make sure he causes this confusion so that they will disobey God because there is always a problem. When, there are, when God created the world, there was a lot of things. The opposition, the devil can turn into anything in form of any snake, any like snake crawling around that was how it all started so everything may look and seem good and nice but not everything is meant for you to have so those were the things adam saw the beautiful garden they were all beautifully made there was no problem they didn't even know what is right and wrong so at the end of it it all went into a situation where the devil, Satan, the snake, went in and said, "Look at you are not, you are not, you are missing a lot because this, the one that God says you shouldn't eat from the garden is the one that is good, and once you eat it, your eyes will be open." So this is how the sin comes into the world. So everything may seems to be look good and nice, 
so it was good and nice for them so and the faster you realize this and start to appro appropriating boundaries in your life and in calculating it as one of your principles and character trials trade the better the more content and peaceful life will become so set your boundaries and if you are so struggling to understand how then read genesis chapter 2 verse 9 so those are the boundaries god wanted us to set for yourself you should also when you set the boundaries you should ask god also to control you to make sure you don't jit jitter around or go into temptation because in this world the devil's favorite entry point in your life is through those who are closest to, very close to you so that is why then satan went to tempt eve eve then went to go and tempt adam by introducing whatever the satan the snake was telling if to do and give it to adam so that is how because he, she was close to adam that is how it all ended up so he will use people who are highly voiced in their opinion and not in the truth to come to you to us and he will use people who are highly critical and judgmental to try to speak to you into your lives to distort the truth of what god said so that is how eve when she was close to adam went to manipulate him not to obey what god said and also she didn't know the truth but made him to believe what the snake the evil was telling them to do in the garden so also that if the snake use negative people like if to try to speak into the life into our life so that we so he, we can receive and believe the lie so that is how he she used uh, the snake he uses if to go and manipulate adam so that he can believe the lies if was saying and also he will also use people who are skilled in art of manipulation to control try to speak into our lives to try to convince that they know what is best for us so we have to also pray for god to guide us not to fall into temptation like if and then went and betray adam as well and also thank you for watching god bless you